The Agricultural Bank of Namibia, Agribank, has the mandate to promote the transformation and growth of agriculture by financing those engaged in agricultural production and related activities. This mandate has far-reaching effects in terms of its contribution to the national goals of achieving food security, employment creation, economic growth, and the development of the farmer. As a development bank, the Agricultural Bank of Namibia established a training and mentorship division to capacitate farmers nationwide, called the Agri-Advisory Services Division, which was operationalized on the 1st of April 2017. As a development bank, we are obliged to accommodate uh, and extend credit to customers that would otherwise not be considered credit worthy by the commercial banks. Moreover, the bank finances the entire uh, agricultural value chain. And for this reason, we have developed several loan products uh, to cater for uh, the various types of uh, farmers that we have, be they full-time uh, and emerging communal or commercial farmers. Such products include our emerging retail financing product popularly known as ERFP, uh, which caters for uh, full-time communal farmers, but without collateral. Uh, and, and, and this product uh, comes with a compulsory mentorship condition, and this is mainly to mitigate the risks associated with such a product, uh, which without any collateral provision. We also have uh, salary-backed options, uh, such as the no collateral loan that caters for uh, part-time communal farmers with salaried income. Moreover, we have developed a product to cater for women and youth uh, with uh, flexible repayment options, um, uh, such as uh, contract financing, uh, where the customer is actually only required to provide an offtake agreement uh, with uh, reliable offtakers. We also finance resettlement and affirmative action farmers through our collaboration with the Ministry of Agriculture, Water and Land Reform. Furthermore, the bank also in partnership with the Ministry of Agriculture uh, extends uh, training services to our resettled beneficiaries and also complements uh, um, the agricultural extension services countrywide. The division is a key component of the bank in mobilizing uh, financial resources uh, from uh, development finance institutes and uh, other stakeholders, uh, thereby also complementing the bank's efforts on capacity building and thereby also uh, bringing uh, affordable financing closer to the beneficiaries. The establishment of the Agri-Advisory Services Division followed the successful completion of a seven-year partnership between Agribank and the Deutsche Gesellschaft für Internationale Zusammenarbeit GIZ GmbH for the implementation of the Farmer Support Project FSP. During this period, a total of 58.6 million Namibia dollars was spent on FSP of which Agribank contributed 28.4 million Namibia dollars, while the remaining 30.2 million Namibia dollars was contributed by GIZ. The AESD exists basically to transfer knowledge and skills, as well as to inspire positive attitudes among farmers to become productive in, in their ventures. It is also there to help the farmers to turn their farming ventures into viable agricultural enterprises. Secondly, the division also engages farmers and other stakeholders through various platforms such as the Farmers Information Days as well as the Market Days uh, in collaboration with the Ministry of Agriculture, Water and Land Reform to create awareness about the bank's products and services. Furthermore, the division is also using media social media platforms such as uh, uh, podcast, Apple Podcast, YouTube, and others to ensure that information about the bank's products and services are widely circulated to the various, various stakeholders. Through the interventions, these type of interventions and other uh, 
efforts the bank is basically using to complement the financing of the entire value chain of agriculture. And this basically is to ensure that each and every Namibian enjoys a quality life uh, through the production and value addition of the agricultural produce. As part of our stakeholder engagement, um, the division has ended into various memorandum of, memorandum of understandings, um, such with various stakeholders, such as the GIZ, the Namibia Biomass Industry Group, the National Youth Service, and others, in order to ensure that we, are, we secure financing to complement the services that the division is carrying out. The aim of the division is to build the capacity of farmers nationwide through the objective of increasing skills development in the sector, thereby sustaining agricultural productivity in the country. More specifically, the division was established to enhance the capacity, knowledge and skills of Agribank's clients in order for them to establish profitable businesses, thereby improving their ability to service their loan repayment obligations. To date, ASD training interventions has benefited 46,802 individuals and assisted them with the ability to be exposed to knowledge and skills in various farming practices. Current ASD interventions focus on different methodologies, including mentorship to bank clients, face-to-face -face short training courses, evening lectures, day lectures, excursions, practical sessions, and farmer information days. It is worth noting that all the short training courses offered was aligned to a diversified training package, including poultry, piggery, and crops. Training interventions also focused on small stock management, large stock management, rangeland management, fodder production, record keeping and financial management. All these interventions are really geared towards assisting the bank clients to be more resilient towards climate changes and climate shocks. In the financial year 21-22, the Agribank short training courses focused on women and youth as well as vulnerable communities, and 60% of our interventions went towards that. This focus on women and youth interventions as well as vulnerable communities was also enabled through the GIZ grant agreement. All these interventions that are focusing on upskilling our clients really enables them to actively participate in the meat, crop, and horticulture value chains. The agriculture sector is a backbone of the Namibian economy. Uh, about 70% of our population depends on agriculture, either directly or indirectly. So having vehicles um, such as the agri-advisory services, which are there to strengthen you know, productivity in terms of agriculture sector is key. Um, dating back from 2017, when the Agri Advisory Service came into existence, we at NBIC at that time, through our debushing advisory services, which was first component of the GIZ bush control and biomass utilization in Namibia, had a collaborative um, measure to actually strengthen the knowledge of uh, sustainable bush control and biomass utilization. Um, a main question would be, why did we actually opt to use agri-advisory services? Our first collaborative um, agreement was signed in 2018. And um, the main reason why we opted to go along with the agri-advisory service was that we need to get closer to the farmers. And having a vehicle like agri-advisory services, which is working closely to the farmers, was the most easy way for us to get access to the farmers. Um, again, when we speak about range rent um, restoration or agriculture productivity, 
it starts with your land. Um, it starts with the issue of bush encroachment. How do we sort out the issue of bush encroachment to strengthen livestock activities? We must note that livestock is actually one of the largest contributors within the agriculture sector to the GDPs which the sector is actually contributing, uh, followed by crops and forestry. So for us, our collaborative has been around areas of uh, farmer information days, being able to reach out to farmers, um, inform them on the topic of bush encroachment and biomass utilization. But of course, incorporating it within the topics of agri-advisory services. When we speak about livestock, when we speak about carrying capacities, we need to understand the resources which we have on land. And as soon as the land is disturbed by bush encroachment, we speak about reduced carrying capacities and therefore disturbed livestock productivity. You are not able to keep more animals. So there is some synergies in terms of the work we do and the work which the Agri Advisory Services do. When they strengthen knowledge in livestock productivity, um, crop uh, production, we actually bring in the knowledge of sustainable control of biomass, which then allows them to have flourishing and fruitful lands to actually expand the number of livestock they are actually keeping. Agribank is a very uh, big strategic partner uh, to NBIC. Um, I must mention that um, <clears throat> we managed to pull off our collaboration beyond the debushing advisory service, but sign it um, a MOU with the Namibia Biomass Industry Group, which is mostly the overall um, association which represents biomass. Though we do have other associations like Chaco Association of Namibia, which represent Chaco value chain. But for NBIC, we do represent a wide range of bush value chains within the sector. So we signed um, a MOU uh, to continue our collaboration in capacity building, strengthening the aspects of farmers understanding why we need our lands to be productive. How can we take advantage of the biomass which is caused by the bush encroachment phenomena? Um, we also, very important, as a growing industry, the Namibian biomass industry needs access to finance. So together with Agribank, we have been working around to strengthen financial products in funding biomass or bush biomass value chain. Um, despite that, information dissemination is quite very important. So we still um, collaborate together with Agri Advisory Services to disseminate as much information on opportunities of the biomass industry, on opportunities which farmers can actually grasp on in terms of livestock and crop productivity. So we still look forward to working closely with Agribank because they are key strategic partners to us. It's very difficult for Namibia Biomass Industry Group as an advisory service to reach out to farmers if we don't use instruments which are already closer to farmers. I think it's easy for somebody to listen to somebody who they have seen before than listening to a newcomer. So that's the strategy we use, working together with Agri Advisory Services, which works closely to the farmers every time we incorporate together our topics of bush, sustainable bush control, to work with them and get this knowledge into the farmers. The other aspect I would mention is we strengthen their mentorship programs. So Namibia Biomass Industry Group does capacity building measures to their mentors so that even if we are not there in the field, when they take the message of livestock and crop production, they are able to incorporate in their messages sustainable bush control and biomass utilization topics. So these are areas which we are collaborating and we look forward to a flourishing uh, achievement together. Agri Advisory Service have done very well. Um, they actually very positive results, which have been seen since 2017, and it's to keep up and do the good job. If we can uh, probably go back a uh, little bit, um, I think uh, since 2013, I can say that uh, between the Ministry of Agriculture and the Agribank, there has been always been a collaboration. Uh, First of all, as uh, before the establishment of the AASD, um, there has been a collaboration for us to work together in terms of uh, 
assessing uh, the application that uh, Agribank used to get. Um, that is when the farmers apply for a specific loan. Um, the ministry staff will then go out and then uh, do the assessment and, and verify whether there is availability of grazing, availability of water uh, on these farms and make recommendation to Agribank for them to then approve or reject these loans. So this collaboration has always been there. And we believe that um, as a stakeholder within the agriculture sector, it is our duty for us to be able to uh, work together. And hence, uh, when the advisory services was established, we then continued uh, with this uh, collaboration um, as, as the directorate responsible for advisory services uh, within the, the whole country. Um, we felt it's necessary for us to then work together with our Agribank, uh, specifically the advisory services uh, of, of, of Agribank. The contribution of Agribank's mentorship and training interventions to improve livelihoods is evident as mentees are now able to produce market-ready animals, thus sustaining mentees' farming enterprises. This has been achieved through the adoption of prudent farming practices ranging from developing health programs, using and handling vaccines, antiparasitic remedies and antibiotics, animal husbandry practices, breeding and selection, determining stock performance, rangeland management, record keeping and financial management. Moreover, attached mentors have assisted mentees and farmers to select breeding stock and linking them to markets to ensure profitability and sustainability of their farming enterprises. To this end, a total of 12,778,395 Namibia dollars has been spent on training and mentorship interventions since inception. So the first thing that we did is we developed a farm map, which now the farmer can use to manage his resources. And with the farm map, we reference all the features that are available. And also the farmer can use this farm map to determine the grazing periods within the camps. We, we realized that some of the camps were underutilized. So we advised the farmer to, to use the hoof impact. So what we did is uh, we grouped the whole head of the farm through that specific camp just to get the grass regrowth back. And also through the involvement of the technical advisor, we also managed to expand the crop production side. And also one of the successes is uh, with the pickery production, the farmer wanted to sell off castries. But because we have uh, low peak numbers in Namibia, we advise them indeed to sell off breeding stock just to bring up the, uh, the production within the industry. Uh, my farm's name is Farm Illinois, and it is in the Commerce region. The loan has been extremely helpful in the sense of it gave me the sense of being empowered and the sense of being an owner of a property which I didn't have, but also to bring out my passion for farming and for food production. Before I had the mentorship program, I used to concentrate only on cattle farming and small stock farming. With the mentorship program, when Mr. Rudolf came here, he helped us to also look at other opportunities which the farm could do. And um, in addition to diversify and crop production, we are looking at different types of crop production. We are also looking at game farming, um, he also helped us to improve on our record keeping and our farm management and also to look at how better to manage our farm workers. My whole objective is to start with to be self-sufficient and to contribute towards food production in Namibia. That is something that is greatly lacking in Namibia, but also to have a situation on this farm that it will be one-stop farm. And we can also use um, our crops and everything to add value to what we are producing on the farm. And I want to see some of my products on the shelves of the Namibian big markets and big supermarkets in the future. And I would really advise any farmer, whether you are experienced or you're an upcoming farmer, to make use of this mentorship program. But in addition to that, um, you're not paying anything. And because you're not paying anything, it's free. 
but it's helping you to add value to what you're trying to do and to improve your, your farming production. The Agribank loan helped us in a very good way. Uh, we were able to get decent in farming infrastructure and buy in quality uh, animals to start off with our breeding journey. I was able to successfully take over from my grandfather in the farming journey. With the mentorship, I was able to dif differentiate between the old ways of farming and the modern ways of farming. I was then able to differentiate between being a farmer and a producer. And it helped us in terms of now we are able to see where we want to take the farm to. As a youth agripreneur, um, I want to achieve quality animals that I'm able to sell to young and upcoming farmers and also supply different markets and meet demands not only with the not only with animals but with animals poultry and crops the agribank loan helped us in a very very uh, positive way and i would advise the public not to be afraid but to take on the challenge if they have a passion for farming um, agribank mentorship is really hands-on and they'll assist you where they can from the ground to where you want to be i have uh, experience of 50 years in farming in Namibia. So I also use the new technology in terms of uh, WhatsApp groups, uh, magazines, make use of uh, Agra and uh, Agri, uh, Cap Agri and Agrimark and all the stuff involved in agriculture, extension services to collect data and share information with the farmers because what is uh, now applicable was not applicable 50 years ago. The mentoring issue is, uh, when I visit a farmer, uh, the first issue is, what do we want to achieve? And then we have to go through the farm and the animals and what, and see if that what is on the farm, what is available, is it possible to achieve his goal? And from there on, it should be management and record keeping so that we can see if he managed to reach his objective in terms. Because if you put yourself a goal or a objective, it should be measurable. And if you can't measure it, you won't see if you make any progress. Okay, in this case, the mentee is very eager. He's a guy who wants to learn. He's a, a one who wants to share information. And he set himself a goal, uh, what he wants to achieve. So we set up a record system. And the records will tell the story, what happened in the past 18 months. And I think he, his management is very good. The records is very good. And that tells the story, what he achieved in 18 months when we are busy with mentorship. In the past, I used to rent farms uh, for my animals, but now I have a place, what I call my own place, that I can do all what I need to do at the farm, and I can increase my production also, not from just livestock alone, but from other projects within the farm, which I wouldn't do under someone else farmland. Um, one of the key risks that um, we foresee as farmers is what will that year bring? Uh, for example, are we going to get rain now or it's going to be a prolonged one? We don't know. That's one of the risks that is uh, beyond our control. And um, in my, particularly where I'm seated in the farming enterprise, you can see there's a significant number of uh, bush encroachment and that has been a challenge for me. And uh, there are ways that I'm deploying currently in terms of uh, trying to mitigate that very risk. But uh, it's something that we need to control and uh, see what we can do to improve our farming production. I managed to have um, a record system for every animal at the farm. Um, all the expenses and the income on the farm is recorded, which is very important for the farming enterprise. At the same time, we're also working aggressively in terms of the uh, rotational grazing management system to allow the grass to grow for our animals. So I think those are some of the highlights from the mentorship program. But one would want uh, the farming enterprise to stand in his two feet to be able to provide and service the loan themselves and as well as uh, look after 
me, myself, as a person with a limited or no subsidies from somewhere else. So that's the objective, but uh, that can be achieved with time and do, by increasing the, produ the, the production heads. No, I think this particular one is a great service that needs to be rolled out to everyone, uh, particularly the beneficiaries of the, uh, the loan from Agribank. Uh, because I don't, we don't want to be sitting in a situation where Agribank is just coming and chasing the money after people while they are not helping people to make money for them to make their money. So it's a two-way traffic, and that needs to be um, done by Agribank sites. But for the fellow farmers, the opportunity is here. If Agribank can provide this uh, loan, please go for it. I think it's something doable we can do. We can manage to pay it if you manage your uh, livestock very well. The idea is, is that to make sure that livestock pay the loans by themselves with no subsidy from somewhere else. And if we achieve that, I think we will be able to get more farmers on board and get the loan um, and, and, and change their life. I think that's fundamental. Because <laughs> Nimbimbala <laughs> Mbikanja <laughs> Kusha <laughs> Uh, Agribank has made a lot of different uh, changes in my life and everybody around me. I got enough training from Agribank. Uh, crop control, uh, 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 insect uh, control, and then it came to a point where I also had to learn a lot about uh, uh, animals. So I do all the farming due to the knowledge of Agribank. It, gave, it made a big impact in my life. Okay, uh, the most in, unique skill that I got from the training is uh, pest, pest control. I do my pest control on time and my harvesting and also animal uh, control where I inject my animals on time by now. I will definitely want to go, want to go big. I will want to get a tractor some, someday or another so my, 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 my process can be a little bit easier. And then the rest I will just let it go with the floor. Agri bank is there, go for knowledge. Uh, you can ask around, so I'm mostly located everywhere in Namibia, and these people are good people, they have the best knowledge that you can get. Hilo mahongero wa gribe nganga kwete ya eto unongo wa peke, mena wakusha kwa shimimena mutu tetuwe kwa mputu ilo, fara tuthu atu ungura, ovinashina kwa kororo wa shayavi ungura, mwasha ikapiti sotho ngombo, kako wa adhehe, la hitika wa adhehe, nukuhina kutaku shanji ina puye numa itendu na poshike, kundi yondi putu heku muna onda na ukiro ya peke, Mokumuna kwa kushua kushia ongombo hitho kutare wa ozokana shekwe noho kwepo njaverero. Kwa kutara kushia hapo mnunjina itendu na njina puye. Nje ishi arara na inga hino shida arara mtuki ashi tivi po. Ahari roku hititha na kupititha uri. Kwa haro manda na ukiro shinene. Kwa shashi mbadu na kushia kushia kororo wa shia dufupu. Kwa dushu wako kushia hapo nusi njongombo shia endwa. 
Si aberi yen babi. Di non di foto ko handa ko shosha bi. O yen danji o yo ko shurura. Inji o yo ko yen dasha ko bondungo. Puto auto ko shwa ko shai. Yondungo ni ori benji. No yen dasha o shimo shurura. O yen dasha o thoki yen dasha pokati ko mko ba ko thoki yen dasha mo nyama. Di ma yen dasha mo nyama mo njongo yo shina si aberi. Foto ko ye ko di honga ko ndonde ko shwa shia ko ndongo mo foto ko pwa yakri benga. Ma hongero wa kri benga ke hio mune nenga rukanga. Ite kwete ata naura po shina. Katia roro kude paiso ngombo ke hiyo misi se ngata utuk muno mahongeronga o wina munyo yetu mumbuni kono ya utuk uta nauka kwetu wini ya utuk ushata ko kusharu he simo iko shunda ushate roe ko naku ka onja no muti maape ba rondo anyo mosho shakuno wina mbiri yo yon tengu njiri yo ke hiyo mahongeronga fa muna onda na ukiro nene shinene mo murukwato rodo ngombo okuda ko proyeka ngandu ku inda ndu tutumbira po donganda iya mena roku shat Dah harum puni kau ya pekenoh, anda abang dua tu kupura usia nundo dongko benda muda si tavi kehio mahong kerawa krim benga. Ete mau ya bade, matu aku usia tu tanah dulu dongko benda le bade, anda le kom leka kaya nusi baru anda si serenao, kau usia tiene nene okuyama ova hepa uke, tiene nene okuyama okubati roskole tu rada nganda ya kahitwa, no no kubati rawa kurundu. Iya, ame miango kurai rosi wana. Pasi wana si esha na mimi biato, no dosere kwa wangu tu, no bandu ba kauri zinbe no vitu mbwa ukuda po donganda, o mahongero, o akrim benga si aisha no mahongero, tu hapa kwa tu bantu zeli koko kusha, ende mui yeku karapo, o andawe hewe kutoro unongo mui, ondi o akrim benga yata ombui roko andawe he, kwa kumu no unongo, amu boku kusha akrim benga ili mavi tatu, o virongo vida wenga ndaka vi na kuya, ndavi hewe yeku toro unongo mui, si muna tesi tuto toro unongo mui nai. The five years of implementation have shown a critical need for the development of farmers' knowledge and skills in the areas of farm financial management, record keeping, rangeland management, market linkages, climate change resilience, farm enterprise diversification, and the overall operation of farms as profitable enterprises, which continue to be the focus of AASD. In conclusion, AgriBank, through its Agri-Advisory Services Division, has proven to be an ideal vehicle to reach farmers across all backgrounds in both commercial and communal areas. The division continues to complement the National Extension Services with the quality training interventions it offers as well as the country's long-term economic objectives as outlined in the National Agriculture Policy, Vision 2030, the National Development Plans and the Harambe Prosperity Plan.